everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are taking a trip to the Age of Darkness once more. We are painting a Sons of Horus Mark VI Space Marine. Yes, it's very exciting. Now, we're going to be using the new Contrast Paints and Reformulated Shades from Games Workshop, who very kindly sent these to me nice and early to get my hands on and to review for all of you guys, and some of these are absolutely perfect for Sons of Horus that the old range didn't quite have the right punch for. Now he's been primed in grey seer because well all of the old Horus Heresy colour schemes are a little bit darker than they would be today so that's why we've not gone for white and the colour we're going to be using first is Croxagore Scales and we're going to be getting this all over our legionary's armour. We're just going to load up our brush here and we're just going to start painting this all over. Now Croxagore Scales works very much like a, an original contrast paint it's got the two different kind of weights of pigment in there. So you just want to be very careful here, apply it nice and smooth by using these big broad brush strokes. And that would just be nice and methodical. And as you can see, that color is absolutely gorgeous over Grace here. So with that Croxagore scales applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take the reformulated Null Oil and we're going to apply this all over as a shade for our Sons of Horus Legionary. And this is just to kind of take the edge off how bright the Croxagore scales can tend to look. You don't need loads of this at a time, you just want to Be very careful with how you apply this because again, this new Null Oil works very similarly to a contrast paint. So with that done, what we now need to do is darken down this shoulder pad because it is in fact going to be black. Now we're not going to be using Black Legion for this, we're going to be using Black Templar. And this is because Black Templar is a very, very, very dark grey. And well, as you've seen many times on the channel, it works really well over other colours. So we're just going to over the top of this shoulder pad just here. We're going to apply this Black Templar like this. And it's going to retain some of the properties of that bluish green turquoisey colour underneath, just like this. We're just doing this over the shoulder pad for the moment. We have other plans for the rest of the black details. So with that Black Templar applied to the shoulder, whilst it's still drying, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. We're now going to paint this over the top of the rest of the black details. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this over the top of the soft joints in his armour. Over the top of this kind of pipe construction type thing on the shoulder pad, on the shoulder pad, on the backpack and the gun. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Gore Grunter fur. We're going to use this on any leather details that your Sons of Horus might have. So for example, this little holster just down here.
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down Retributor armor to paint in our gold details. So this is going to include areas such as the studs on the shoulder. Like that. And it's also going to include this little trinket just here. It looks a little imperial, but don't worry. <laughs> So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thin down lead belcher to colour in all of our remaining details. So this is all the areas on the weapons and mechanical areas on the backpack, for example. Everywhere that we want to be silver. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some of the new reformulated Null Oil. Once again, we're going to use this over the top of all of our metallics. Give them a good shading. So with that done, just add a little bit of variation to those metallics. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of Targor Rage Shade. We're going to add this to the recesses in certain areas of the silver and the gold. So for example, just here on the blade, we're just going to add a little Targor Rage Shade there like that. Add a little bit of it here to the kind of middle of the magazine. Add some on that side as well. Like that. Put a little bit over the top like this. Add this over the top of that gold. Definitely not an Imperial Signia. <laughs> Add some here. Along this pipe vent. Just like this. Not very much at all, just enough to add a little bit of variation, a little bit of a kind of idea of some dirt building up on our legionaries here and there, just like so. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're just going to very quickly take some Blood Angels Red and we're going to apply this over the top of his eye lenses. And don't worry that we're doing this over the top of Croxagore scales. We're just looking to basically turn the kind of canvas red we've got a little bit of a blob there so i'm just going to use a clean brush just to go in there and try and get it like that i'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and over the top with the little targeting laser up here that we did with silver like so so with that done what we're now going to do is we're going to very quickly take some evil sun scarlet I'm going to use this to add a little line to each of our eye lenses. Just going across the middle. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to add some highlights. Now the first one we're going to add is Cyberite Green. We're going to be applying this to all of the armor edges. Just like this. Now just take your time here.
working your way around. And so with that done, we're then going to take a tiny amount of Gorse Blaster Green, not very much at all, we're talking tiny, tiny, tiny little dots. What we're going to do is we're just going to apply this to the sharpest points around the model. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight his shoulder pad. And the color we're going to be using for this is rust gray. And so with that rust gray applied, just to finish off that black shoulder, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Fenrisian gray. We're just going to add it to the corners. Just like we did. On the rest of the armor. Like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a little bit of Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to use this to highlight the underside of each of our red lenses. Just like that. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thins down Dawnstone. And we're going to use this to highlight all of our remaining black details. So this is going to be all the areas such as the bolt gun casing. and the kind of harness this sort of area back here on the backpack basically anywhere you use black legion Paint in a black detail. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Administratum Grey and we're going to use this to pick out the sharpest corners on all of our black details, excluding, of course, that shoulder pad because it's already done. So we're just going to pick out that little area just like that. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight all of our silver details using some thinned down iron breaker. Just 
just like this. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Liberator Gold and we're going to use this to highlight all of the gold details. And with that done, we've just got one final thing left to do, which is to take a tiny, tiny, tiny dot of Corax White. We want to add this in the furthest corner, away from the middle, so in the back. Just like that. And so here we have it, the first of our Mark VI Age of Darkness painting tutorials. The Sons of Horus themselves, the titular traitors are here on the channel at long last. I know a lot of you've been asking for this and this was a lot of fun to do. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's quite a difficult scheme to achieve. You either kind of go for a more greeny aspect or a slightly more bluish aspect. And I've gone for the blue because I prefer it. And a lot of the modern promo material kind of looks like this. Um, but uh, I might do a slightly greenier one as well as an alternative. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.